Today I am going to show you very very advanced level checkpoint commands which are sometimes very useful to save your life sometimes very harmful if you perform them wrongly so let's begin let me log into my gateway and from there let me go to the export mode i'll be running all my advanced level commands from the expert mode only so right now i'm at the expert mode let me clear up the screen so guys first command number one command the command which we run to see things repeatedly for example whatever the commands you are going to run and you want to see that output repeatedly for in a scenarios where you wanted to see something is going to happen on your network and you are not able to understand why it's happening so if you want to see some output repeatedly you can use this syntax this command for that purpose the syntax the command is watch then give what interval you want to see those commands say i want you to see these commands after two seconds repetition and give whatever the command you want to observe here so let's see i wanted to see uh, the memory utilization how it's you know happening so i'll be putting say the command say free and here if you see on my screen the time is ticking it's uh, live things happening and if you see here how the contents are getting changed in every two seconds so this command will run on every two seconds so if you have a scenario you want to observe something repeatedly you can use this command and it's very useful you can use same syntax not only for the commands i have shown you but also for any sort of commands so in scenarios if you want to observe the you know high availability how the hfl over takes place and everything you can just use the command cp ha prob stat right or whichever commands you like to run you can use this syntax all right next without you know putting the command like date something like that you want to see what is the utc time going on there is an alternative to this command which we run like z dump and whatever the time zone you wanted to give press it will give you the time zone and details for that you know the date and time for that time zone right next command is something we usually don't run in environment until the that is requirement so there is something we call eth underscore set command i am not going to run this command i will just show you the syntax what it is so if you want to change your interface you know uh, speed and you wanted to force your inter uh, interface speed to go on some other speed you can use this particular command this is the complete syntax you just have to follow the syntax and within a go you are able to change your interspace speed so guys next command is also very important mostly whenever you come up with the upgrade os you wanted to check what is their uh, file integrity or whatever the things you have downloaded is is it a uh, i mean it's not modified during the down, download process so to check that files compute uh, i mean the to compute the files integrity you can use below check some things so first one is md5 some 
and you have to give the file name right right now I don't have anything here to test so for now I'll just press here uh, it's saying that file name is no such directory or file but if you have something like that any file you can check your you know check some or integrity directly through the console or I mean the CLI same you can do for the SHA1 check the command is SHA1 sum and you have to give the file name right uh, SHA I'll put it wrong it's SHA1 sum right and after that you have to give the file name to check the integrity and now the few more important commands which we generally don't use but if you if you want as per your environment you can you know use these commands to check particular things so next command is which command name indicates which where we are like that correct the use is also like that only so if you want to see what are the commands we usually run for example say uh, uptime cp start cp stop all these commands where it coming from from which directory these commands get runs so you just have to type which and the command name and then you will get the exact directory from where these commands are located right so if you want to troubleshoot any particular thing if the file is missing file is not there what happening with this command why I'm not able to run these commands you can use this thing to check the particular location for this command right next let me clear up the screen Next, if you want to determine the hardware compatibility of a particular uh, NIC or uh, a particular uh, PCI NIC, right? Generally, what we used to do, we go to the site and we check all these things. But within a console itself, uh, CLI itself, you are able to check the hardware compatibility. So the command is I S P C I. Uh, it's uh, not uh, it's ls pci minus nv i wanted to give a more here to see output in the desired way so if you wanted to see how that particular uh, your uh, nick is compatible with whatever the drivers we have installed you can run this command and you know walk through with all this output right i am not going more into these details let me clear up the screen and similarly you can use the option which is vv for the verbose more to see these details in a other format right let me clear up the screen now after having these commands let's you know run some basic commands which we generally require to understand the output or uh, we need to understand this commands output for sure because most of us we don't know why uh, and how these commands works so first command is cpwd underscore admin list and this is what the output is but we don't know generally most of us don't know why all these things so when you come here you have to see your all processes listed here important processes and what is the status of those processes basically e whenever you see e 
E stand for established. So whichever process you are seeing, for example, FWD, that process is got established. If you see instead of E, if you see W, W means that process is at a waiting stage. So anyhow, if you see W, that means that process is not running well. Whenever you run this command, you have to see this output. If any process showing other than this output, that means that process in you know, a progress of something and it's not running well. All right. Let me clear up screen. Now, next command which we uh, generally use to see uh, how our system is behaving. <coughs> Excuse me. The command is CP view. If you run just CP view, you will see each and every part of this uh, uh, gateways, what, how the system is behaving. So there is a lot of output here. So you are able to see here how many CPUs are there. Currently I have how many CPUs, let me see how many CPUs I have <laughs> currently running. What is the status of my memory space? What is the status of my network? Likewise, if you move slider, you, you will able to see other details like uh, system information if you again move a little bit you will see all the network information actual things on the CPU what is going on right a lot of things so CP view is your friend if you want to do the troubleshooting of your gateway and if you want to come up with some conclusion how your gateway is behaving right let me say this there's something called cp view minus t this option let me show you command again cp view option minus t so if you wanted to see the things historically what's happening happened with your gateway what is you know uh, in couple of hours before or couple of days before what was the status of your uh, your gateway or your management server what processes were running how the CPU was there what was the idle time everything you know in historical base you can use this command CPU minus T and if you see uh, here if you want to you know for example uh, I wanted to see like uh, in a couple of hours before so what was my CPUs you know utilization or how that CPU utility was there what was the memory status what was the CPU status so what you need to do here you have to press T press T let me show you you have to press T okay and then we will come to this screen and here you just have to follow the syntax for example it asks you to enter your detail in this format to see the historical view from the CPU so your month then what was the date that was the year part and then in our minute second basis okay let me clear up the screen and I am putting the details accordingly let me put details so for example this is a November month and year is 2021 I wanted to see uh, say a couple of hours before the data so I'll put the year is November then uh, date is 16 then uh, four digit your year 2021 
and then uh, hours made second so I will put like say I want to receive uh, two hours before data so I'll put a uh, zero eight is the hour minute was zero zero seconds was zero zero right I'll enter so now it's saying the history not available because that time I haven't done anything right with the gateway I was uh, my system was not up that time that's why it's saying that history is not available uh, but if I put a couple of minutes before data let's see what happens okay so the command is cput you have to press t here uh, the month is say November uh, then the uh, date is 16 here is 2021 say it's 10 colon that was my hour minute was say 6 and say 00 second let me check this show you that is not available change time stamp anyhow for my uh, uh, this is my you know VMware lab that's why I'm not getting the historical data because my system was you know that time not you know active or running well that's why it's showing like that but in a real time I have run in this this command in a production environment so in a production environment if you run that command it will give you actual statistics from your previous time till the time uh, you wanted to see the stuff okay so guys very powerful and very useful command right so guys uh, this is it for this video if you like my video please subscribe my channel and press bell icon so whatever the latestly video uh, latestly uploaded video will come to you as soon as i'll upload them thanks for watching this video guys and have a wonderful day ahead Bye -bye.